hello guys welcome to my channel vertex tutorial today we are going to design a piston so let's see how to design a piston in solidworks first of all select front plane sketch normal now make center line from here to here a vertical center line and a horizontal center line and one more thing make sure that you are into MMGS system unit system so that's it select line start from here actually okay make a structure like this That's it. <coughs> Select line again. Join this. Okay, we have now a closed sketch. We are going to dimension it. First of all, dimension it as 64 mm. Okay, and uh, this should be. 40 mm okay select this this line select this line select this line select this line and this line make relation collinear we are going to do the same to these three lines select this line <coughs> this line this line also this line and make relation collinear now make this the width between these two is is 5 mm and there should be two two mm okay and this should be 3 mm okay now select this line this line and this line make relation equal okay select this line and this line make relation equal now go to smart dimension again smart dimension This distance should be 2 mm. That's it. Now we are going to revolve this. 
so exit from the sketch go to features revolve boss base revolve along this okay now we have this now select it was front plane actually first of all now exit from that and now select right plane sketch control 8 normal now select from here corner rectangle we are going to make a corner rectangle select center line draw a center line and the distance from here to center line is 32 length length is 32 now dimension from here to here sorry from here to here it is 3 mm and ok go to center line draw a center line horizontal center line the distance from here to here we have is 16 mm ok now go to extruded cut and here select through all both Now we have this cut on this side but we want this cut also on this side so we are going to mirror this cut so select extruded cut and along a plane along with or about which we are going to mirror in this case we have this front plane click on mirror front plane is selected features to mirror we are going to select this cut extrude click ok so we have this so we have this we have a cut like this now select bottom bottom face sketch control it normal select circle and draw a circle of of radius of radius 35 35 radius that means diameter should be of 70 mm okay now select a center line and draw a center line in the middle select a line draw a horizontal line select this line select this center line here select mirror entities smart dimension the distance between these two is 36 we are going to trim the unwanted parts ok now go to features extruded cut mega cut of 50 mm that's it
said. No. Select front plane. Select front plane sketch. Control eight normal. Select line. Or rather, we are going to first draw a center line. Make a structure, make a sketch like this. The angle between these two is forty five, and the length is. Five mm, and this length is thirty mm. Exit from the sketch. Note down this. Note down this sketch and dimensions. Select this line. Select this line. Select this line, and. Mirror it along this center line. Select all these lines and center line, and now going to click mirror entities. It is going. It is autom automatically going to mirror this portion about this center line. Now go to features, extruded cut through all both. Click OK. We are going to make a hole on this. Click sketch, control eight, select circle. Make a circle. Make a circle of twenty-five mm of dia. That's it. The distance from here to here sixteen. Okay, that's fine. And the distance from here here to here is twenty-four. That's it. That's fine. Now go to features extruded cut. Do all. Click OK. Now our stone is ready, and we are going to apply some material on this. Go to materials, edit materials. And here we are going. In iron, malleable cast iron. Click OK. Now we have this piston. Let's apply some color on it. Let's make it some. Uh, let's apply some funky colors on it. Okay, that's fine. Green. We can apply blue. We can apply pink. Whatever you like, you can apply that. I'm going to apply this mild color.
this yellow color would be nice okay click ok so this was our uh, tutorial of piston i hope you liked it and enjoyed the video so don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos like this and if you want to learn solidworks from sketch and do check my other other videos